Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing System Shock 2 and it's gonna be awesome. We are continuing on our way. We have gotten to some place. I don't actually know where we are yet. Let's go talk to this guy and see whether or not he has anything to say to us. Hey guy! Guy! Come on guy! I know you can see me from in there. Why aren't you saying anything? Seriously, guy! Ah, public relations. <laughs> uh, ooh, year one. Uh, well, that's a little bit disturbing. So this is going to be a multi-year thing? I don't even know what that is, and I can't interact with it. Oh, another robot. Hello, Welcome robot. aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Okay, I'm assuming that this is all like introduction, character building, backstory kind of things, so that we get to know our character before we go on to something else. I mean, I'm assuming? I actually don't know. But we'll go and see what the options are, I guess, for year one. Oh, I can't go through that door either. There are people in those rooms! I'm not allowed to go talk to them! Darn it, game! You evil, evil game! <laughs> I'm not allowed to go bother people. Uh, well, that's way too blurry to read. Ooh, planet scan. Command lines and some other planet information. We're in orbit around Earth. What the heck kind of planet scan are you running around Earth? It's not like it's a planet that you're going to have issues with. Let's see. We've got UNN Lucille Military Police. UNN Lucille Mi Engineers Mate. UNN Lucille Ships Ops. Um, well, let's see what they have to say to each other, say about themselves. The UNN Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Those sailors can get pretty rowdy on these year-long cruises, so you better not be afraid of a tussle. So one modify and one... The UNN Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate to help maintain yeah, the ship's core energy system. This and strength. There's some heavy lifting involved, sailor, but you'll learn your way around the high-tech equipment. And this one gives me... The UNN Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's hmm. navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high-tech systems, but also expect some heavy lifting. So my choices are between... The UNN modify, Lucille. repair, the UNN and... The UNN Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. I think I will go with hacking for this one, because I went with an engineering kind of thing, so that I would be able to get hacking skills to get into places where I wouldn't otherwise be able to get into. So we'll take hacking the first time around and see what it offers me for the second and third. The second, third, and fourth. February 13th, 2112. Your tour of duty aboard the UNN Lucille has concluded. You've spent a productive year. Captain Mayer was pleased with your work, especially with the initiative you showed in physical training. A friendly ensign showed you some back doors to the ship's primary data loop, and you spent your time off pumping good old-fashioned iron. You've gained plus one hack and plus one strength. And we are in year two now. And I love this, it just like projectiles us in midair. I know that's a classic thing to do to make sure that the player doesn't appear inside of the floor, because that was a common thing. In, in older first person shooters, when they spawn you, they will spawn you in the air, falling. So that when you spawn, you aren't caught in the floor, because sometimes the older games have a little bit of inaccuracy in them. Marathon does this quite frequently, and the in-game as uh, the in-game explanation for it is that the teleporters can be a little bit inaccurate, so they tend to aim for like a foot or so, between four and six inches above the floor, so that when you land, you don't end up in the floor. Anyway, uh, let's see, we've got Laverne Tactical Training School, UNN Pierce, Ordnance Master, and UNN Car Carfax, Navigator's Mate. Okay, let's see what these offer us. Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. While maybe not as respected as the Marines' facility at Fort Bush, there's a lot to be learned here. Alright, that gives me standard weapons? The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been assigned a detachment of Marines, and needs sailors to load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. So that gives me one maintenance, and this gives me... The UNN Carfax is undertaking a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. Alright, I have no idea what cyber affinity means. Um, hmm, that's a good question. What do I want to do here? I want to climb on some boxes. 
Yay, climb boxes. Wee, climb boxes. Okay, I'm sorry. Good to know the there's UN no falling damage. I think I will take back home from their detention the near Laverne Tactical Training School just Laverne, because Florida I like having good weapon skills in secondary. School. Because Moment. I find being able to use guns effectively extremely useful in first-person shooters. And playing a gunslinger is pretty much my standard for most games like this. So February 11th, 2113. Your tour of duty at Laverne Tactical Training School has concluded. A year of firing ranges, mock boarding parties, and war games has done you good. You spent plenty of time with military-grade pistols, assault rifles, and evil auto shotguns. You've gained plus two standard weapons. And it projectiles us through the air again. How do we keep getting here in the middle of the air? It's not like there's teleporters as far as we've seen. Everything has been on, like, ship-based. Do my character just, like, jump shortly before I phase into being able to control them? What the heck's going on there? Uh, well, there's only two more of these. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero-g training. A year at the Yamamoto Space Station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. Alright. The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros? There's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons? The 21.2% mortality rate. Ooh. One in five people the Navy's Marie Curie Research Facility on Aquinas 4 is currently conducting research on a new strain of space-borne virus that killed 220,000 citizens of New Atlanta. To lift the quarantine, we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro-nanite shielding. Alright, so I can either do research, the Navy endurance, or agility. The Navy I have no idea what endurance or agility or research do for that matter. Training. But I'm going to go with research, the Navy's just Marie because. Curie research There's no real reason for it, just because I can. I have no idea what any of this actually does in terms of, like, in-game mechanics, what it's useful for. I assume I'll find out eventually. And then I'll find out that I made my character totally poorly and I'll fail horribly at this game. I, I really hate having to make those kinds of decisions without the game actually telling you what the things you're deciding mean. It's one of the things that really annoys me in games. February 9th, 2114. Your tour of duty at the Mary Curie Research Facility has concluded. Congratulations on surviving the disaster, sailor. When the saboteurs removed the safety seals and released the virus into the atmosphere control regulators, you were one of the few to reach safety in time. However, you were able to pick up a few odds and ends of your research technique before the crap hit the fan. Okay, so apparently I was in a terrorist attack on a UN and Navy facility. Oh! Maybe we got a new cut. Uh-oh. So somebody has rerouted us from choosing our fourth thing to being on the Rickenbacker. Wonderful. Five months later, UNN Von Braun near Tau Ceti 5, 67 trillion late trillion miles from Earth. Hey, we're on Tau Ceti again! We were on Tau Ceti last time! <laughs> what a nice coincidence! In fact, I think we're even around the same planet in Tau Ceti, Tau Ceti 5. Well, that doesn't sound good. Ooh, someone dying. Monster! Reinitializing memory strings. Restoring patient memory. Restoring memory. Restoring memory. Error! 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 Oh boy! And some guy watching security cameras. It's dramatic. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely Which on make my head all angular! just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to deck four to meet me. 
deck four. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Okay, so apparently I'm cybernetically augmented guy in space around an alien star around Talus City being on a spaceship being invaded by unknown and alien attackers. Man, I have a really strange feeling of deja vu in this. Readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! Ooh, it's blown up. I wonder if it would have killed me if I... Oh, yep, probably would have killed me if I should have in the cryo recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. Can I get up this thing? Oh, I'm not allowed to quite get up. I can't quite get up that, it looks like. Ha! Ah, I can! Haha! -ha, it's a secret area or something. Maybe? The entire sector is depressurized. Your shield won't last yeah. long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Okay, no keys. No need to be so pushy. Hey, a thingy. I do this, and I have no idea where I am. I may have missed something already. <laughs> oh man. Oh, let's search his body. Ooh, a thingy. Set the new code to four five one zero zero. That should be easy enough to remember. Oh yay! Something that makes it so I don't have to hack something. And this is what the heck is this? An information kiosk. Oh, I guess it's just. So they gave me a tutorial where they explained what the PDA was for, and now they're giving me another thing that tells me what PDAs are for. Ah. <sighs> uh. So this is bad. I don't actually remember what his, the password he listed was. No, that's not what I want. Uh, in my PDA, I want logs. That one. Great. Four got five one zero zero. Again. Like I've got nothing zero to zero. Do. Hey, and door opens. To make work I'll set the new code to four five wow, these are really zero poorly zero. soundproofed walls. To also, that person screaming was coming from the wrong direction. She ran over there, but it was still coming from the left. What the heck was going on there? Come on, game. Get on your game. I know you're old, but seriously. Uh, wow, did I really get myself stuck in terrain already? Seriously? Okay, I can crouch. Can I get out with the crouching? Yes, I think I can. Okay. I'm like, what? Did I really get myself stuck on terrain in the first, like, five minutes of the first level? Crouch and crawl through ventilation shafts. The most classic of first-person shooter options. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. Okay. Uh, whoa! What the heck? I fell through the floor, apparently. I didn't even see that coming. Ooh, a wrench. A very solid wrench. I assume that means that I can equip it. Yay, I can equip it as a weapon. Yeah. People who say that, uh... Bioshock is very much still like. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't. Good. Yeah, yeah, I got you the thing. You managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just stuff. uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Okay. Uh, another information desk. Maps. To access map in a section of level, enter these on the map button, the map will display rooms that you have already been to. If you have to spatially wear a last upgrade, the map will also display areas you have not yet been to. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Da -da 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 -da. Tell me how to get mini map. Oh, cool. Okay, let's uh, go into our map, which is down here, and toggle the mini map option because having a mini map is really, really nice. I, I actually really like mini-maps in games. I find them extremely useful, and I will probably be playing with this one on all the time. I'm sorry if it annoys people. The MFD button in the lower right display contains information about your character. Yeah, yeah, four major areas. Stat growth. Eh, there's nothing interesting here I haven't heard before, it looks like. 
Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there that I haven't read before. But I can bring it up and take a look at it. So I've got a little bit of hacking skill, a little bit of research skill, no maintenance, no modify, no repair. Well, that's going to be kind of bad. Uh, let's see, under stats, I'm up to two strength, one endurance, one psionics, one agility, one cyber. Oop. Accidentally closed it. Combat, I have lots of standard combat skill because I took standard combat skill as the thingy that I was good at. And I have no psi powers. Okay. Well, all useful stuff to know. And there's a dead guy in here. Hey, dead guy, I'm going to steal your stuff from you. Yoink! <laughs> oh, that feels so cruel. It's like I come across a dead body. What's my first order of business? Steal from them! Uh, you have a button called maps. Yes, yes. Question mark button, which will give you an expanded health I have fixed on items in your inventory. I've clicked on any of these buttons to access the function. Okay, so... That'll let me examine items in my inventory. Good to know. Which may become relevant at some point. Also, I, lo I love that they give me a wrench. People aren't just lying when they say that Bioshock looks a lot like System Shock, only underwater instead of in space. We'll see how the rest of this shapes up. I mean, so far it's looking really good. There's a button I can press there, which doesn't seem to do anything. Right click is interact with stuff, so... Um, activate Psy upgrade. Activate weapons upgrade. Activate tech upgrade. Activate stats upgrade. Let's start with stats upgrade. Okay, I've got four I can do, I think? So let's see. Strength determines your inventory capacity and amount of damage you inflict in hand-to-hand -hand combat. All armor and some weapons have minimum strength. End determines your maximum hit points and the resistance to radiation and toxin. Psy determines your use in psionic disciplines. ATI determines your movement speed and reduces falling damage and weapon kickback. And Psy increases your chances of successfully using hack, repair, and modified skills and also lessens the number of dangerous nodes. Okay, so I guess I should have gone for cyber tech skills at some point. Um, let us take... Oh. Oh, it's cost is 8. Okay, so let's take Psy up to 1. Actually, let me go and check something, because it looks like, yeah, I've got the same number of nodes for all of these. So they're shared, it looks like. Not that I can afford to upgrade anything in there, or in there. So my only real choice is to upgrade my stats, which I am going to do by taking a second point in endurance and calling that good. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're all linked. I could take something in there, but I think I would rather have the endurance points. Thanks. And we have two doors over here, which lead to two different areas. And there's a thingy in here to steal from. Yay, more si more nanites. I have no idea. Ooh, this ball is gone. Okay, I guess I didn't do that or which one I went into. I could get either. More healing items. This reminds me of a lot of Fallout so far. Oh, and I can scroll these with the mouse wheel. That's good to know. Hasn't bothered to tell me that yet, but it's good to know. Uh, replicators, keypads, more each hack attempt, cost specified number of nanites, yeah, yeah. I got that in the basic tutorial. Okay, you cannot move the pipe below 15%. The hacking interface itself will display the grid squares. Red squares have ice on them, all science squares are safe to hack. If you are unsuccessful at modifying a science square, it is darkened. If you are unsuccessful at modifying a red square, you have critically failed the attempt. Critical failure can cause a wide range of bad effects, from breakage to activation of security alarms. So generally avoid using those. Okay, so I have to hack this because it doesn't look like there's any way for me to get the information I need to uh, unlock it without hacking it. Oh, there's another thing over here. Software! Da 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 da. Bonuses, these operations, yada yada, dangerous nodes. Okay, so software helps improve to your ability to do things in addition to your character stats, I guess. But I'm going to have to hack this, so... Initial difficulty 70%, final difficulty 55%. Well, this is going to suck. Uh, yay! Security access compromised. Security access compromised. Ooh, brawn boost implant. A speed booster and a speed booster. Okay. So I guess I didn't actually have to go in there. So what do I do with these? A brawn booster implant. Okay, let's use my thingy to get more information on these. Brawn booster! Implants increases the user's strength by one, bringing up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. The implant acts as to circumvent many of the legal restrictions on athletic pharmaceuticals and avoids any actual drugs and simply stimulating the musculature with electrical and magnetic impulses. Okay, so that's a strength boost temporarily. I assume this is an agility boost? 
double speed. Okay, so it lets you move faster across certain distances. Yay! I'm learning things about the way that this game is set up. I guess I can't go through that door at all. Huh. And I didn't bother to steal from this person. Ooh, I got four more cyber mod modules. I guess that's what you were supposed to do. Well, I'm going to up my cyber... Actually, I'm going to come over here to skills. And up my hack skill by one. With my rest of my cyber modules. Which may be a bad idea, but I already have a standard skill of three. So I don't really feel like I need to improve it very much right now, whereas I only had a hack skill of one, so... That's my reasoning, and I'm sticking with it. Um, I have no idea where I'm actually going at this point. Oh, there's an elevator over here. That's where I'm going at this point. 